Hey guys, I'm Steph, and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. Before we begin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss one of my video uploads. Today we're gonna do an organizational video. I know a lot of us are spending much more time at home and that's a good thing right now. We need to stay home as much as possible. And I also know that we're doing a lot of spring cleaning, just a lot of disinfecting in general. And we're doing probably some much needed organizing. So I am going to show you guys my foundation drawer. And let me just preface this entire video with foundations and concealers are my passion. I love trying new foundations, new concealers, and that's because I've always suffered from acne. Ever since I was in middle school, I always had acne. Now as an adult, I'm 38 years old, I still have normal to oily skin and I still have large pores, but thank God my acne has pretty much gone away. All I'm left with is the oil and the scars. So I am always on the hunt for the best foundation, both drugstore, high end, and everywhere in between. And I also love trying new concealers. Keep in mind guys that I do have a YouTube channel. So a lot of these foundations that I've bought more recently have been to try um, here on my channel for you guys. And you guys know I love to do a good foundation wear test and review. Um, so you're going to see an excessive amount for one person. So don't be alarmed. This is my hobby. This is what I love to do. And this is what I choose to spend my hard earned money on. So let me take you to my foundation drawer and yeah, let's get started with this organizational declutter. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet because I honestly don't really know how much I'm gonna be throwing away. I kinda already went through that drawer a couple months ago, so we'll see. I'm at least gonna show you everything that I have. So if you wanna see all of my foundations, keep on watching. All right guys, so this is my foundation drawer. It's kind of, sort of organized, but as you can see, um, there is a lot of clutter in here and this is a pretty, it's a pretty deep drawer. It's um, the deepest drawer that I do have. And um, these are the foundations that, that I wear, the foundations that I try out for you guys, have tried out for you guys in the past. So um, let's start going through them one by one. I think I'm going to empty everything out first and then put everything on the floor. And then um, I'll sit on the floor and we'll record this video. All right, guys. So these are the three baskets that I was able to fill up with all of my foundations that we're gonna organize and declutter right now. I'm gonna show you every single one that's in here. That way you guys can see what I got and then we'll talk about what I'm getting rid of. All right guys, so these are the foundations in my collection take you row by row here and then I'll show you the big picture of what I'm looking at here on the floor of my beauty room but as you can see I like to try all different brands and I don't just try high-end or drugstore I like to try both and everything in between And as you can see, I have two of certain foundations. That's because some of them are different shades. I like to mix and match. And this 
is my foundation collection. I'm trying to fit it all. Oops, there's my foot. That is what my collection looks like, guys. All right, so let's organize this. Let's start decluttering some of this. And I can't wait. This is the first time I've ever spread out my foundations like this just to look at all of them. All right, so let me show you guys what I am not going to keep. And the reason why I'm not keeping most of these is because they are already old or they just didn't do anything for me. Um, the first two I have are the ColourPop. These are the no filter foundations right here. Um, these were just okay for me. They didn't really do what I was expecting them to do. They do provide good coverage, but I don't feel that they give you that long wear, at least that I need. So if you just need your foundation to hold up for a good maybe six hours, then these would be okay. Um, they have a good price tag on them. I think they're like 10 bucks or something, but I'll leave everything down below. Um, I have the shades uh, Light Fit. And I also have the shade Fair 25. So these are going to go in the trash. They're already old anyway. So I'm not going to donate any of these products um, just because they are old. Um, the next foundation I'm getting rid of is one that I'm going to be replacing. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. And this is the Matte Made. And I have the shade L30 in this one. This was a good foundation, a good medium, maybe bordering on full cover foundation does come with a pump um, and I'm going to be replacing this one this one is just old and I need to get rid of it another one from covergirl I don't know if they're still making this one or I think maybe it got repackaged this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation this one has SPF 20 and I liked this foundation, but what I didn't like was the shade. And I think I have the lightest shade. This is classic ivory. It was just a little too, had too much of a rose undertone. So um, I might check this out if I could find a better shade match for me, but this did a great job other than the shade. The next two foundations are the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundations and I'm getting rid of them because again, they are old but I did really enjoy this was probably my favorite cushion foundation ever and this is what the cushion foundation looks like and then you have the little pad here and then you can press it on into the skin but these are pretty much dried up already and I will be replacing them um, I think the shade I'm gonna stick with is cream ivory Another cushion foundation, which this one I did not like, is the Joa Angel Food Foundation. I have the shade Natural Ivory in this one. This foundation just really didn't do that great of a job of staying on my skin, especially as far as coverage goes. It really didn't give me the coverage that I look for, so I am throwing this one out. Another one that I'm throwing out um, is the Physicians Formula Insta Ready BB Cream Foundation. This is in the shade Light. This was okay. Um, I don't think it really did anything spectacular. Um, I mean, it was a good little BB cream. I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I don't have anything like amazing to say about it. So this one is old. This one's gonna get thrown away. This next foundation is one that I really like. It lasts really well on my skin. It has great coverage. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I just need to get a new one. This one is old. I've had this one for quite a while and I have the shade Ivory in this one so definitely going to be replacing this very soon. I'm also getting rid of the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation and this one is in the shade um, 201 Classic Ivory. I'm keeping the shade 204 but I'm tossing out 201 just because this one is older. I'm also getting rid of the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is the white foundation. I never use it. Um, I, I don't even know why I bought it. I am keeping the shade that matches my skin. I think I bought the white to mix in with maybe foundations that were too dark for me, but I ended up never doing that. And the last foundation that I'm getting rid of is this Makeup Revolution um, foundation stick. This is the Face Base Stick Foundation, and this one is in the shade F4. It just 
it didn't do it didn't last on my skin it didn't do anything for my skin i look like a greasy mess now i do have another one of these stick foundations from makeup revolution it's in a darker shade it's this one right here this one is in the shade f13 and i am going to keep this just to like as a cream bronzer because i can make it work that way but um this other shade that matches my skin tone no it didn't do anything for me as a foundation all right so let me start filling up up this drawer again. All right, guys, so that completes today's foundation drawer organization, foundation declutter, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting rid of 12 different foundations. So yay for me. I think I deserve a pat on the back for that. Um, some of these foundations I will be replacing because there are some foundations that I just, I really enjoyed using and some now never gonna buy them again. It's been a minute guys since I've done a foundation review here on my channel. I think the last one I did was in February. So if there is a foundation out there that you want me to try, me and my normal to oily skin, 38 year old normal to oily skin, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you want me to get. Um, I'm itching to do a foundation review. So um, if there's a new one out there, maybe I haven't heard of it, you haven't really seen it reviewed, let me know because I would love to do that for you, especially now that I'm working for home. I got the time to do it. So let's go. Let's have at it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Cheers. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.